hi guys so I've already got my brows on so we can pretty much jump straight into the eyes <laughs> I'm using the NYX rustic antique palette and I'm taking the lightest shade in that palette to highlight underneath the brow and just bring that all over my lid as well I'm then blending the light brown shade through the crease this is a soft warm neutral brown so it makes a perfect transition color before we go in with the orange to blend all those shadows together, I'm just using a fluffier brush. To intensify the orange shade through the crease, I'm using Makeup Geek's Morocco. I'm blending a darker colour through the crease, and then I'm going in with Makeup Geek's Bitten and Cherry Cola on the outer corners of my eye. I'm going back in with that fluffier blending brush just to smoke it all out and give it a smooth transition. On the lids, I'm packing on a little bit of that cream shade that we used right at the beginning. Next, I'm creating the gold liner using the NYX 24 Karat Glam Lux Liner. Because the gold liner is pretty much the whole focus of this look, I'm spending a lot of time just making sure it's really neat and that I'm building up the liner slowly, just so it's a really intense gold colour. I'm curling my natural eyelashes and applying mascara before applying my favourite lashes, the Girls of Attitude Siren. Bet you didn't see that one coming. I know this bit looks hella weird, but I'm just tight lining my upper waterline. I'm then using the Epic Ink Liner to conceal the lash line and then also outline the underneath of the gold liner that I've created. I'm then going over that with the matte black liquid liner from NYX just to intensify the liner. Because the liner is the focus and I want it to be neat, I'm just neatening it up with some concealer. I'm then moving on to my skin which is the same routine as always. I'm using the NYX 3C palette to colour correct under my eyes and then I'm using the NYX Total Control Drop foundation mixed with my Urban Decay foundation. For under eye highlighting I'm using Kat Von D's Lock It in White Out and then on top of that I'm using Urban Decay and I'm also using that in my problem areas around my chin as well. I hope you don't mind that I've just rushed through that bit because it's pretty much the same thing that I'm going to be doing every day so sometimes I'll include it, sometimes I'll leave it out. Today I decided to rush through it. And now I'm contouring with this upside down palette. To contour, I use the Kat Von D double-ended brush and then I blend it out with a brush from Girls With Attitude. I'm then buffing that in with my Freedom Blusher and then highlighting using the NYX Strobe of Genius palette. For some extra glow, I'm using Jeffree Star's Ice Cold. This is a nice highlighter, it looks great on camera, however it picks up all my texture. In my waterline, I'm using the Oxblood Faux Black Pencil and I'm also bringing that below the waterline and blending it out with a pencil brush. And when I say pencil brush, I mean a smudger brush. LOL. On the lips, I'm creating an outline and lip contour with the Dark Soul Lip Liner from NYX. This is hands down my favourite lip liner and I used to use it as eyeliner before they brought out Oxblood. In the centre of my lips, I'm using the NYX Brick House Liner. I'm then going over all that liner work with the NYX Full Throttle Lipstick in Sandman. This lipstick is hands down the mattest matte lipstick I've ever used. To set the look, I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Setting Spray. So that's pretty much it for this vampy gold liner tutorial. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!